Yo, how's it going? Back in the shed, been a bit slack on the updates. Been um, doing a few odd jobs here and there, nothing really too interesting. But today I am uh, stripping down the CFC gearbox. So I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a rundown on how I pull these apart. Just got to reseal it, it's leaking quite bad. What I'm gonna do is reseal the sump of the gearbox, which is this base plate here. Attempt to separate some of those and maybe reseal that one and that one there. I'm okay with the one at the bow housing uh, to the gearbox section. I think that will be okay. But this tail shaft, definitely a bit suspect leaking around there. I think it's been apart before and not resealed well or some people pull all these bits of sealer out and sometimes I, I don't know if that's good either i definitely do this for a seal that's probably the main culprit um but i'm it's kind of just while i've got the gearbox apart it's going to be better just to eliminate it there's like it was so covered all over the whole thing that if i just try and seal it up like quickly not get too carried away so i've already pulled this cover here off couple of the fittings off over the side here uh, there's a little ball and spring and another little spring setup that kind of flicks back your gear lever uh, I've got that ready to separate got these ready to undo just I've forgotten my tripod so these are all unbolted now got the mount off speedo drive out i'll reseal that if i can't get the o-ring i'll just whack some seal around it but this is about ready to come off I've unbolted this this will come off not sure whether i'll separate these i'll see how i go i think i've got to warm up the casing to separate that but might as well because we're right there all right so i've got all the tail shaft off now I've uh, separated the two sections, cleaned between them. I can't take it right apart because it's a Series 5 gearbox and has a counterweight on the back. These are quite sought after. I don't have a crescent that big. So I'm not going to get too carried away like I'm not recoing the gearbox. So I just want to try and eliminate some leaks while I've got it out on the ground. Just see how it goes and see what happens, I guess. But I'm going to clean in between the two sandwich plates now. Nothing too exciting. But just, yeah, wanted to show you that counterweight on the back. Sometimes you can tell it's a Series 5 gearbox externally by this extra bolt. There's an extra bolt in the middle casing. Series 4s didn't have it. All right, so I've got in between the surfaces cleaned with my brake clean. My rag, and my knife. I'm going to chuck some sealer in there and throw that part back together. So I've got this section here, put a silicon pot around that. Already done the two sandwich ones. The cool thing with using RTV with a nozzle, like this one, it just kind of gets in there easily. Just give, I use just brake clean because it evaporates when I'm cleaning stuff. Uh, just get in there with a blade, get the worst of it out. Brake clean the rest. Just don't leave any big dags in there. But as long as it's oil free, the brake clean will uh, do its thing and prep the surface for the silicon. So the tricky part now is dropping the tail shaft housing down on with the selector rod into these knuckles. I won't be able to film this part, unfortunately. Uh, but if this is the kind of stuff you guys want to see or learn about, uh, just let me know. Now you've got these, all it really is, is the long bolts coming down that hold all of this together. Uh, it's pretty, I don't know, I find this stuff kind of easy to work on. I have pulled the rear seal out, so I can replace it easier later. So see how the, the shifter rod, that goes up to your gear stick. 
when I drop this tail shaft housing down, I've got to make sure it doesn't knock it into gear. That's the tricky part. So I just managed to get the shifter housing on. I left the neutral switch out so I could see the notches in there and make sure that the shifter rod didn't move when I put this bit back on. You guessed it comes in this side and that pivots around and changes gears. But there's a split pin that goes through there. So you've got to, to remove the shifter housing, you've actually got to put this on as one, uh, or take it off as one. Same as when you put it back on. You kind of get it so that rod's just sticking through, put this on, and then push it all home together. But you've got to make sure that that doesn't drop in and knock it into gear, or fall out of the gear, out of the gear select, uh, selector things. My terminology with gearboxes is terrible. Well, that was a bit tricky. So there's a little ball bearing and a spring under that one. And under that one is a big spring and a guide. And that's kind of what gives you that feel in here. Oh, that's tricky to do. Kind of gives you that spring back. So that's a little split pin that you've got to get out. That's actually quite tricky to get out. You've got to have the stuff out on the other side to, to cock it over like it's in neutral before it goes to fifth to get that pin out. And I don't think I went through it when I removed it. But you un undo those two bolts, one either side. Some people weld another little piece on and pick up on that one. Um, but basically you've got to knock that pin out with it on an angle. Like it's going to neutral fifth. Get that out and then pull this thing off as one. And try not to disturb the shifter rod. Same as when you're putting it back on. If you disturb that rod, you can push it into gear or out of gear. So I, I used the neutral switch and I checked and I could see where, the, where it, there were two, dim, uh, two notches that the neutral switch rides into. So I just made sure that it still had the notches either side of that, that hole. Um, tricky for me to explain some of this stuff and, and film while I'm working. Hence why this video has been hard and fast. I have found that filming and working is challenging. I'm used to just doing the work, not worrying about filming it. But this year I have become part-time cameraman. I don't know. I don't know what the hell you call this. There's other YouTubers that have got like film crews and stuff, man. They're lucky. But I kind of like doing everything myself because then I have control over what I put out, I think. But Gearbox is basically, well, <laughs> should do a bloopers rule for you fellas, eh? It's my ADHD, it just jumps all over the place with the subject shit on my head. <laughs> anyway. It's all resealed, the sump's resealed, tail shaft sealed. There's a couple of other bits to go on there, but next week, get that in the hole, get that back up in the tunnel, and get the motor sitting in there. Engine bay's all been touched up now. Might go have a quick look at that. So, nothing too flash. Just gave those rails a bit of a tidy up. Black them to match the engine bay, really. Give that tube a little bit of a repair. Nothing too hardcore. But just easier to do while the motor's out of the hole. Kind of goes with the rest of the engine bay. So that's another week down in my, in my workshop. Stay tuned. 
to see what's going to happen this weekend. Bill probably won't watch this video anyway, knowing him. He might. But, uh, he's probably too busy packing. Packing his undies. Let me know what you think in the comments, if this is the kind of stuff you want to see. If there's things I can work on with that type of video. Like I said, forgot my tripod. Real sorry about that. i kind of been psyching myself up to do this vid. But I've left the tripod at home in my other bag. Bit of a story to that. You'll, you'll find out about that tomorrow, I guess. What else? I think that's about it for now. It's been kind of quiet lately. Bit ho ha about blowing up my van, but pff, them's the brakes. Cheers for all the support, you fellas, and girls too. Um, it's trippy. It's trippy. I think, think you just want to watch just me working on my cars and stuff like that. But if you just can give me some ideas, I read all the comments. I don't respond to all of them, but when I can, I try to. Uh, I'm going to do some more lives soon uh, and answer more of your questions. But thanks for the support. Really appreciate it.